So in the next few web dev tips, we're going to be taking a look at the different types of errors that you can get in JavaScript, how to recognize them and what they all mean, and then how to deal with them with your code. So we're going to start off in this tutorial by talking about syntax errors, and syntax errors are pretty straightforward uh, because it is suggesting to you that there is a problem with your way you've written your code. So if you're not sure what syntax means, it's actually the definition of the, in this case, JavaScript language. And if you make a mistake and the JavaScript uh, interpreter doesn't understand how to uh, read your code, uh, then you will get one of these syntax errors in your uh, application. So for example, we've got a really trivial bit of code uh, in our editor at the moment. And as you can see in our Chrome browser, uh, it's logging out hello world uh, to the console. And you'll get a syntax error if you've made a mistake in the JavaScript language. So for example, in our if statement, we've got our uh, comparison operator here. But if we were to do something like this and to forget that operator from our uh, code, uh, first of all, Visual Studio Code is actually telling us there's a problem. So that should be a warning sign anyway. Uh, but you might get uh, this uh, syntax error in the console uh, saying that we've got an unexpected string. So the first thing with any error is it will tell you the type of error. So in this case, syntax error, and also the, a message to tell you uh, what the actual specifics of the error are. And also it will give you the file and the line number of where that error occurs. So you can see it's in our index.js file at line three. So syntax errors are pretty easy to identify because uh, your text editor, your application that you're using to write your code uh, should be highlighting that kind of thing anyway. Uh, but just to give you a couple more examples, uh, if we were to miss out the double quotes, uh, the opening double quotes for our string here. Uh, it's a little bit less obvious as to what's going wrong, uh, but you can see we're still getting a syntax error in the console. Uh, this time the message is saying that it's an unexpected identifier as JavaScript is trying to interpret the hello uh, text as an actual variable. But one more example, if we just uh, miss the assignment operator here from the uh, top line here, you can see we get a slightly different message here saying that we're getting a missing initializer in the const declaration. That's obviously highlighting that we should be looking at line one and the file name and uh, numbers are quite important if you start to work on large projects with multiple files uh, because you might find that uh, even though Visual Studio Code is doing a great job here of highlighting a problem, if you've got a file which is closed away somewhere uh, where you've made a mistake and you're not sure where it is, uh, then obviously the browser will indicate where you need to look. We're going to be taking a look at some other error types in the following few web dev tips, but that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.